welcome back to Liz Sews. Today is another installment in my series on drafting your own panties. In the previous videos, we've looked at drafting your own panty block based on your measurements and then how to move around style lines. Today we're going to get a little bit more in depth in moving around style lines by incorporating lace. Hope you guys are excited. Let's get started. So when we left off last, I had just shown you how to do a center back seam and eliminate your side seams so that you had a panty cut out of one continuous piece of fabric that goes all the way around. This is also a very useful to have that center back seam when working with lace. So here's an example of a lace underwear that I've made and we can see that the front panel right here has just been cut normally, but on the back, I've included that center back seam and I've allowed the lace to ride along the leg hole edge. That way I don't have to finish this off with any elastic. This is really, really great if you're concerned about visible panty lines on the back of, of your clothing because this lace here doesn't have any elastic. It means that it, it sort of sits very smoothly over the skin and floats and you're less likely to see it under clothing. I also really love that chevron sort of triangle effect that it gives you. So I've combined that center back seam with just the traditional front panel. So let's take a look at how I would go about constructing this. So I've pulled up my block here and you really need to let the lace sort of talk to you because it's going to be able to dictate what the panty is going to look like. So here I have the stretch lace and what I want to do is sort of lay it down over top of my block and we see this line that is connects the hip to the gusset in, on your back piece and you want to lay the lace over top of there so that the lowest points of each of the scallops is hitting that line. And then what I like to do is just mark where that's hitting across my center back seam. So mine is hitting right about there. So that tells me that if I want to make these panties, I can't make the back any taller than that. So in this case, that means that my back is down one, two, three, four inches. Yeah. So that's just like a typical bikini style. Remember from my last video, we talked about how we could bring down that waistline. So I'm perfectly fine with bringing it down four inches. Um, it just will be a little bit lower cut pants. So just as a double check, you'd also want to align your lace along the front to make sure that you have room for that as well. So just like we did in the back, we want to take the scalloped edge of the lace and I want to align it along just the gusset line here because on the front of the pattern, my lace is going to be sitting right ways up. And I can just mark where that sort of intersects with the fold line on the front. So in this case, that fold line in the front is about two inches down. And since two inches is less than the four inches, we should be good to go. So what I'm going to do, I know this does get a little bit repetitive, but we're going to copy over our block and then make the adjustments for the lace. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is bring down my waistline. So I know from measuring my lace how far down I have to bring it. And because of the back, I need to bring it down four inches. So all of this is no longer needed. And we want to do that in the front as well. Let's see. So now we have this pattern piece and all we need to do to make sure that we can do our center back seam is of course the front piece is still going to be cut on the fold just as always but we are going to cut our back piece with a quarter of an inch seam allowance so that we cut two back pieces and then sew them together. So I'm going to add a quarter of an inch there. I would add a quarter of an inch along the gussets. Of course, you're going to add your quarter of an inch on your side seams. Okay. 
and then anywhere else you needed to add more seam allowances for your elastics. And that is all the pattern alterations you need to do to be able to make this this full lace panty with the center back seam. You would construct this just as you would construct any other panty, the only difference being that you're going to sew your back pieces together and then treat this whole thing as one piece just like before. So instead of cutting it on the fold, you're just cutting two of them and then seaming them together in the center back. Now you may run into a case where you are looking at your lace and you decide that it's much too narrow. So this lace is about seven inches wide. And if I were to align this lace along my leg edge here, and then I mark my lowest point on my center back, I can see that this is just, this is not enough coverage for me, <laughs> right? If I had to drop my waist down eight inches, that means that I would be hitting, I would have a side seam that was just barely an inch above my hips. So that's just not going to work. I would not get enough coverage. So in that instance, what I would end up doing is picking the size that you like. So let's say I liked this bikini size or of waistline. And then what I would do is cut it out with fabric and I would cut out just the bottom bit in lace as well. And what you're going to have in the back of the panty, you would end up with something that sort of looks like this. So you have your back of your panty and it comes across and it comes across like this. And then you would have lace that came down in a V and came back up. So this would be fabric. You would have a center back seam still. And so this would be fabric up here. And then you would have your pretty little lace coming down in just a V in the back, which I think is also a really interesting look. So that's a good way to get around if your lace is just not wide enough to give you enough bum coverage to do that center back seam trick. So here's another way to add lace to your garment. So this garment, I have used lace trim, and if you need to get a refresher course on how to add lace trim along the legs and the waistline, um, I do have a video that I posted a couple weeks ago on different types of elastic and how to apply them. So not only have I added lace trim along the legs and the waist, I've also added a lace applique to the front of the panty. And the reason that I did that is this was an embroidered tool it was non-stretch, so of course I could have done my forward side seams. I could have done my forward side seams like we did with this non-stretch lace. However, I did not have very much of this left. So what I chose to do instead was just fussy cut out these roses and then applique them onto the panty itself. I've also chosen to do just one solitary rose on the back because I liked how that looked. So this is a great way to sort of tie in the lace from your bra into your panty without having to do a lot of uh, additional pattern manipulation. So if you look at the inside of this, I know it's a little bit tricky to tell just because it's black fabric, but you can see here, I've just laid down these three pieces of flowers and then I've gone around them. This case I went around with a straight stitch because I knew it wasn't gonna take up too much space and I wasn't worried about being able to stretch the fabric. Um, but I went around with a straight stitch as much as I could around each flower so that I formed sort of like a solid applique that lays on top. So these were cut out as three individual flowers and then I just overlapped them in a way that I thought looked visually pleasing. So that's another great way to add lace to your underwear. One really simple way to add lace to your underwear is just making it one of the panels. So in this case, I've got a traditional, like just bikini style. So I brought the waist down, but everything else stayed the same. And you can see I've used a lace panel in the front of the panty and then jersey in the back. You don't really have to do any pattern manipulation to, to get that look. You just have to switch out your front panel for lace. And then along the same lines, I've got almost the same panty, except I put the lace in the back. So in this case, I have a jersey panel in the front. And then I've chosen to do that center back seam panel in, with 
the lace in the back again giving me that nice lace edge that cups along the bum and then I have the chevron effect because of the center seam down the back so you can see how both of these are using almost exactly the same materials but you can get a little little different of look of having a lace front versus a lace back here's an instance where I used the lace in the front so I've got my standard front panty piece cut out on lace on the fold and then in the back I've gone ahead and used micro mesh so it has a nice sheer it's very lightweight and it doesn't really interact at all with the front I think it kind of just goes away and you don't really see it um, but this is another way that I frequently will use lace especially if I don't have a ton of lace because let's see making an all lace pair of undies like this does take about well for me for my size this took a full meter of fabric and I might not necessarily have a full meter left over so if you wanted to just get that same effect and look this one clearly only took let's see this one took about 15 inches of fabric so I just needed the lace enough to get across the front panel or front piece and then just used a nondescript stretchy fabric in the back and then the last example I have for you of using stretch lace is this. And again, this is a simplicity pattern, but using the pattern techniques that I've shown you in these, in these tutorials, you should be able to recreate this look. So for this one, I've used power mesh in the front. So the same stuff I use on the back bands of my bras. And then I just overlaid a triangle of lace on top of that. So I got this really cool effect here. I really liked how the pink looked underneath the lace, so I kept both of them in there. But if you wanted to, once you affix the lace down across the, the, the fabric material, you could go in with your scissors and then cut out this fabric so that all you have is lace there. So it would look like fabric and then just lace. So those are a couple of options that you could have, but I particularly liked having the pink show through. And then on the back of this one, once again, you'll see this quite frequently whenever I have an abundance of lace, is that center back seam where the, the butt cheeks are, are utilizing the scalloped edge of the lace so that I don't need any elastics back here. And then the last sort of way that I wanted to show you guys how to incorporate lace is I'm gonna bring back up this this panty which as I said was my I moved my center panel or side seams towards the front um, so if you wanted to make a panty like this you could then take sort of like a narrower trim of lace so let's say you made the whole panty in one fabric and so because we've moved our side seams to the front these are the only seams that are visible on the patty panty so then what you could do is take a narrower lace trim like this and affix that over top of the seams See if I bend this under if that makes more sense so you could have fixed that over top of the seam and then sew it down on either side and just like I had shown you with the pink one you could then cut away whatever is behind it and so what you would have is fabric and then a lace inset panel and then fabric all the way around to the back of the panty so it would almost look seamless because you aren't having any bulky seams the only seams you're having is where this lace joins to the fabric on either side so i hope you guys have enjoyed this and you can see that there are so many options and the world is sort of up to your imagination how you want to make your panties you can mix and match the waist heights the leg heights the the center back seam or the side seams there's so many options to take such a simple basic pattern and make it exactly what you want and you could probably have a wardrobe full of panties and none of them be exactly the same Hope you guys have enjoyed this series and I will see you guys next time. Take care.